Hello again everyone. I, I've got a couple of cards here to show you that are um, more than just a card actually because they've got a puzzle on. They've got a word search on the front. There are two designs. They're both um, flowers word search cards. This one is bright and this one's muted and they're by Lorraine Appleby. So let me show you them first of all. This one is in really summery colours and it's got the little butterflies on that I added a bit of glimmer to which was uh, just to add some shimmer. It's made as a get well card. Uh, inside there's a pocket and I've put an extra copy of the um, word search there and some little butterflies popping out. It's got a, an insert to match which is absolutely gorgeous and then on the back I've put the answers. You can actually put the answers inside the pocket but um, knowing my family and friends I thought it was better to hide them away a little bit and this just lifts up and there are the answers and it tucks away again under an extra butterfly that I put on the back. So that's the summer muted colours, but there's also this bright one, which I think is lovely for a get well card, really cheers anybody up. Uh, same design again with the pocket to hold the word search puzzles. Uh, there's a plain insert here, rather than uh, there's some words as well, which we'll see in a minute. And again, the answers on the back. So if you want to make these cards, you need the downloads from Crafts You Print. I'll put the links underneath, um, but they are £1.20 for the kit. Uh, if you're in the USA, just click on the pound sign on the top and change it into dollars and you'll see that it's $1.66. So pretty good value, especially as when you've downloaded them to your computer, you can print them out as many times as you like. So you've always got on hand a really nice get well soon card or a birthday card, however you want to make them. So let me show you what the kit includes. Uh, the first sheet has the front of the card on it here with the word search printed on and the list of words down the right hand side. All that's going to go on the front of a card blank. Uh, it's got another copy of the flowers which I'm going to put on using 3D foam and several greetings. Birthday, happy birthday sis, happy Mother's Day, thank you, that would be nice, get well soon, belated greetings, happy retirement. So lots and lots of different reasons to make this card. Uh, inside on the second page we've got another copy of the word search because of course people don't want to spoil the front of their card by finding and crossing through the flowers so this is the copy that goes inside. If I'm sending it to a family I usually print out two or three of these extra and tuck them inside so they can all have a go at doing the puzzle, it's fun. This part here, I don't know whether you can see it, has actually got the answers lined through and this is the piece that I put onto the back. So when you're cutting it out, make sure that you leave the card underneath here because you're going to make the tab at the bottom of the answers piece. These are the decoupage pieces. There are quite a few of them. I only chose a couple of them for the video, but you can really go to town with those. Another copy of the flowers. And this is the alternate insert. Hope you have a blooming perfect day. How lovely is that? Finally, there's the pocket and the, another copy of the word search puzzle. And this goes inside for everything to tuck inside. So those are the sheets that you'll need, four sheets. So once you've printed them out, you can cut them out and you'll also need a card blank. I actually scaled it down on my printer a little bit. Uh, the card itself is seven by seven. I scaled this down to so that it would fit onto a six by six card blank. And I cut as well a piece of bright yellow card to go underneath that was sort of a mid-size and the reason I did this was that when you've got a lovely bright card like this having a border like that really sets it off um, as you can see here I did this one uh, in the pink uh, sorry in yellow and I did the muted card uh, in the paler pink just to set that off too can you see it here so it just gives it an extra edge. When you look inside, I've put the blank down straight and it doesn't have quite the same impact without the matte of colour. So let's just adhere these on, get the card going. I'm using wet glue. Uh, this is PVA glue. You don't need a lot of it. You certainly don't want a wet piece of card because that's where you start to get it all bubbling up and causing problems. So a little PVA glue, line it up. And the beauty of using wet glue like this, is that you can just slide it and adjust it a little bit as you put it down if necessary. That's looking good. And the same again with the card design for the front. Just a bit of glue around the edge, squiggle in the middle. 
laying that down again and sliding it on the wet glue to get it nice and even. It's looking good. Okay, the next bits I'm going to deal with go on the inside. Uh, because it's um, a get well card that I'm making, I've chosen the blank insert rather than the wrong one with the uh, blooming word, the blooming days words, which is lovely for a birthday or a special event, but perhaps not so much for the get well. So I've chosen the blank option, laying it down inside. And it's looking really bright and colourful. On the inside of the front of the card, I've got the, the pocket already cut with the slope inside. And again, I've put um, double-sided tape on this. You only need to glue around the edge if you're going to use wet glue, but double-sided tape does a good job here. Just align it up and press it down. And now I can put that copy of the, of the puzzle tucked inside there. As I say, you can add the answers inside there as well. You can put extra copies in if you want to. So finally, I've got some little bits here to finish the card off. I've got another copy of the puzzle that's just going to go on the front. I'm using 3D foam tape here just because it's a big area, but you can use little 3D foam dots or whatever you've got that can just create a little bit of a, an illusion by lifting up the two levels and creating some dimension just for added interest. I've got the list of flowers here, again with 3D foam tape on the back. I'm going to line that up. There we go. And I've got some of the flowers that I've made for decoupage. I'll also put the greeting in now, get well soon, and I'm putting that over the happy birthday because that's what I want. Lovely. So let's see how these go. I've got a piece there with 3D foam dots on the back. That will just line up. Looking lovely. I've got another one here for down at the bottom, matching over the underneath. Lovely. Lovely bright colours. So that's the front, finish the inside, we've just got the back to do. So remember I said to cut it out and leave a tab of white card at the bottom of the answers. So I've made, I've scored this along, put some tape on and I'm using it as a hinge. Can you see like that? So the hinge goes at the top onto the back of the card. So when you lift it up, the answers are the right way round. Okay, and I'm just going to secure that by putting a little bit of glue around the edges of another one of the elements, just sticking it down there. And finally, I'm going to write on here, answers, no peeking, just like that one, just so people know where the answers are and when to look. So there you have it. A lovely get well card or a more summery design in muted colours. Um, I do hope that you'll give these a try. The links are down below. You don't need a lot of other materials and it's very economical. So do give it a try. Thanks for watching.